This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 9th of February. James Spann here. It's a cold and wet day and going to turn colder this afternoon. And that end of the week system is the one that we're all focusing on. Will that bring snowflakes to parts of Alabama in the Deep South? Let's talk about it. Let's take a look at some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. First off from Coleman. Raining pretty good up there at uh, 5 o'clock. That's uh, U.S. Highway 278 down below. In the Birmingham Metro, that's the Inverness Skycam from the Wingate Inn overlooking Highway 280. Same thing, a good rain falling at that site. And it is raining on the campus of the University of Montevallo, also in Shelby County. Good-looking storm blowing through here this morning. That's going to produce a big snowy mess again up north. In the wake of that, we should be... Uh, in good shape tomorrow and Thursday, but you can already see the next one out there on the California coast as the parade of storms rolls along. There's the radar at the somewhat insane hour of 5 o'clock. Yeah, good rains coming through Birmingham, but the back edge of the rain is already uh, coming through uh, uh, Double Springs and Fayette, and it uh, looks like that rain's going to be ending uh, pretty early this morning, and then as the rain moves out, much colder air drops in here. And we'll have to look out for a few snow flurries this afternoon. Temperatures this morning, though, are, are in the 40s, and I think uh, for many spots, that was going to wind up being the high for today. We think the numbers dropped from the 40s this morning into the 30s this afternoon because look at the air up north of us. I mean, it's uh, we'll look at uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas. It's, uh, what, 14 degrees up there. Uh, you get into single-digit cold over Missouri and even sub-zero cold up there. And if you go way back into Montana, I see a 23 below zero, so... Uh, the cold air has been flushed out of the Arctic and is now flooding the uh, lower part of North America down here and going to be pretty cold in coming days. There's your watch warning map uh, for the existing storm, and you can see uh, winter storm warnings up from the uh, north of Memphis up to uh, Indianapolis and Cleveland, Detroit, Pittsburgh, New York City, Washington, D.C., Baltimore. They're going to get more snow. And out west, you see parts of California under a variety of advisories with that new system that will be uh, perhaps impacting the Deep South at the end of the week. Snow uh, chart for today. Big snows will stay well to the north of us, of course. But again, if you're flying up there, be aware that could cause some airport delays for places like Cleveland and Washington, Baltimore, and Philly. Tomorrow, New York City and Bastin will have their turn. That could be a big snow for New York City. They could wind up with a foot of snow up there. And uh, Thursday, here comes snow potential from our new system. The guys at HPC can have Interstate 20 lined up there. Uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, Shreveport, even over to Jackson. And, of course, everybody wants to know, will it snow here on Friday? Here's a QPF chart. Uh, this is valid through Saturday evening at 6 o'clock, showing about one inch of uh, precipitation here. And, of course, that's a mix of whatever falls uh, the, today and then uh, whatever falls on Friday. Let's take a look. This is the GFS, the 06Z run at noon today. Level here at 500 millibars. Storm number one passing through. Storm number two is out there uh, just north of Los Angeles. And uh, down below that, it uh, looks awfully cold as the uh, cold air blows in. Cold air advection. You can see that 540 line uh, nearing us, and that's the reason we think there could be a few snow flurries around this afternoon. No big deal, but a definite possibility, a novelty. And again, we think temperatures today go the wrong way. It could be pretty cold out there this afternoon. Tomorrow, we are in between uh, good cold air advection, uh, the high only around 40, and there could be some lingering clouds, you know. Uh, and look at the storm that is hammering Philadelphia and New York City and Atlantic City and Boston. That is a wicked-looking storm up there, uh, blizzard-type conditions. And here comes our new storm uh, you can see uh, coming into Texas. We'll go to Thursday. And uh, we're cold and dry. Our storm is coming through Texas. And I'll just tell you now that the uh, latest model set shunts that thing pretty far south. Let's just go look at Friday. This is the GFS at noon. A very, very southern look with this thing. I mean, hardly any moisture up here. That would be nothing more than snow flurries, if that, with the deeper moisture literally offshore. And that's pretty anomalous for this pattern. Uh, we haven't seen many look like this, but can it happen? Of course. But let's look at the other models. Here's the NAM, very similar, surface low way south of New Orleans. The deeper moisture staying, uh, again, uh, really offshore, and that would suggest any good snows would be down there in, in south Alabama, uh, really below Montgomery. Take a look at the uh, European. 
the the European is a little farther north. It's a little warmer, a little farther north. That would suggest we might pick up an inch of snow here. And then the uh, Canadian, pretty much the same deal. And again, uh, that is the most robust with the moisture, no doubt about that. This is uh, Friday evening at 6 o'clock, and that's suggesting uh, the better snows would be Montgomery, maybe Greenville and Troy and Eufaula and Auburn. So the idea stays the same. The deeper moisture stays down south. Uh, all of these models suggesting a very light event for the I-20 corridor. But look, uh, let's get today's system out of here. We don't like to be specific, and we're not going to be specific on this until this thing is out of here. And really tomorrow morning and later today, we can focus on this. But for the moment, it looks like the deeper moisture will stay down south. Uh, Saturday starting off the weekend, dry and cold. Hey, look at Sunday. Look at this lobe coming down the trough. Uh, this is kind of an interesting idea. Uh, down below that, a cold front comes in here, and that could bring a little light snow. Uh, you know, these clipper things coming in from the north rarely have a lot of moisture simply because there's no ocean up there. Uh, but if this is right, it's going to be awfully cold on Monday. Look at that. The 540 line drives deep into the Gulf. Uh, by golly, that would suggest highs only in the 20s on Monday of next week. So our forecast might be way off. Let's confirm this before we start really tinkering with the numbers. But that looks very cold. And then uh, Tuesday of next week, a week from today, still cold, but we start to moderate somewhat. A few days later on the 19th, here comes a strong trough down below that. That looks snowy, doesn't it? And again, this, this strongly negative AO is going to stay in place, you know, for a while. If, if we don't get snow on Friday, there will be other opportunities for the Deep South like that. And on the 20th, look at the cold air and the snow. Goodness gracious. Um... And then at the end of the four, I'm sorry, the, uh, we'll go to the uh, later in the 20th, uh, big storm forms in the Atlantic and again, just cold and snowy. Now the end of the forecast on the 24th, the pattern begins to lessen a little bit and down below that, we're, we're not quite as cold. And sure, there should be some moderation out there toward the end of the month as uh, things kind of get back to normal. But cold and unsettled is the story for the next couple of weeks, no doubt about that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.